This bread aisle is still recovering from last week's crazy shopping spree where everyone bought bread and lunch meat before the hurricane. Nature's Own is made in a factory nearby. My boyfriend uses it for grilled cheese and for toast. I'm not a big fan of it, but it's still buying local. That's the one. <laughs> that. No. You'd smash that? <laughs> I mean, it looks really good. I'd smash that. I'd smash that cake. <laughs> I'm a huge ginger fan, so I was super excited when I saw this shelf that has different items from the ginger people. First, we have here a ginger juice. The label shows that the only ingredients are organic ginger and citric acid. You can add it to your water, your tea, your kombucha, your smoothies, your cocktails. You can use it when you're cooking. You can add it to your rice. You can put it in roasted vegetables. You could flavor your fish or your chicken or your other things like tofu. Wow! And then next to it was this minced ginger, also from the ginger people. You can also use this in place of fresh ginger. You can add it to your marinades, your salad dressings, your sauces, flavor, season, anything you want. It, the label even suggests using it for grilled scallops, coleslaw, and shrimp cocktail. Now, when I look at this, I do wonder how sweet it is because it does contain cane sugar and rice vinegar in addition to organic ginger. Ooh, check this out. You know, fall's here when the banana bread comes out. Pillsbury's come out with a roll of banana bread batter. It looks like it's made from real banana puree. Sounds interesting. The price tag of $7.65 seems a little high for me, but it does look really easy to make. And well, convenience has a cost. Have you tried this? Would you try this? What do you think? Write it in the comments. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot I'd already put these in the basket. Uh, the ginger people also have a ginger candy, and these are um, a little bit smaller and a little bit harder than the ones I usually get from Walmart, but they were at the local grocery store, so I thought I would give them a chance, and um, they're really good. And the packaging is cute. No trip to the grocery store is complete without a stop at the ice cream section to see if the Bluebell is on sale, and I kid you not, I did not plan this at all, but I saw a glimmer of yellow from the back and I thought hey I wonder what's back there and it was the last banana pudding ice cream all the rest of the flavors are just kind of like normal and, and basic I've never really noticed this milk chocolate it might be a new flavor one thing I noticed about it is that it actually has real sugar in it as opposed to this Dutch chocolate ice cream which it has a short ingredient list but it has high fructose corn syrup and I'm not a big fan of that 